Hi guys, this is Flamingo CK and I'm here to bring you a brand new season of FIFA 20 with the team RB Leipzig. Our expectations for this season are pretty high. We're in the Bundesliga 1 and we have a team of a lot of high potential young players. I'm pretty excited for this roster and there's a lot of things that we have to look forward to and a lot of development that we can do. The objectives set by our team are as follows. They want us to reach the quarterfinals in the UEFA Champions League. I think that's doable, but it might be tough because we are playing in a pretty tough Champions League group, I believe. Uh, I think that the Champions League is set from last year. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we get there. But we are also playing our world class, and this is my first time using this team. So it's going to be a slow, a slow burn for me, I believe, trying to figure this out. And we have a lot of hope for this. They want us to finish in a UEFA Champions League place in the Bundesliga, so that's top three, and the fourth one is a playoff, I believe. So I think that's completely doable. Uh, we just have to beat the lights of uh, Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, uh, some teams like Werder Bremen and a few others that might pop up. And it's not really determined who's probably going to be the best in the league this year, and with how FIFA plays, from what I've heard in career mode, it fluctuates their lineup pretty pretty heavily, so I might be using two controllers to make sure that we're playing the best sides that we can, especially against teams in the Champions League and Bayern Munich and Leverkusen and the ones I mentioned before. Being a Red Bull-sponsored team, we have a good amount of money to work with. I spent about $4.5 million on scouts, and that leaves us with about $67 million in our transfer budget with about $330,000 in our wage budget, so we have some targets that we wanted to look at. One of them is Jan Hurtado, an age 19 striker, has very high upside potential, and we kind of need a fourth or fifth striker with a few people on loan. And he only came out to be about $14,000 of wage as a prospect and a signing bonus of 200000 And for me, I thought that was uh, kind of a steal after getting his release clause for only $8 million. Renan Lodi is one guy I wanted to use to replace our left back and to have somebody with a little bit more potential and to build off of. He is a Brazilian, has really good skill moves, $29 million release clause. And you can see here, we ended up just paying that because that was probably a lot more easier than dealing with him. And they didn't even want to sell him, at, actually. So in the end, it worked out for me. Release clauses are really good for people you want. We only had to pay him 26500 He's with us for four years. He's going to be very important for us. I think he's going to be used in the attack a, uh, a lot. And he has a signing bonus of 250000 James Madison was another player that I wanted to target. Uh, he has very high potential. Only 22, plays for a Premier League side, and he's a free kick specialist, and that's something that I really need on our squad. We had to, we ended up trading Kevin Campbell, who's only $29 million. I didn't really think he was going to have a spot in our squad. And for a transfer fee of three million five hundred thousand, at a wage of ninety three thousand, and for four years, he's going to be a very important role in the squad, and I'm really excited to have him on. One more guy that we we're really excited to bring out is Sandra Tonali, uh, CDM seventy five overall, only nineteen years old. People compare him to Andrea Pirlo, one of the best CDMs potentially out there. I ended up trading Diego Deme for him. And paid an additional $8.5 million, and I thought that was a steal for this guy. And then we also just wanted to shore out our center back rotation. So I started to scout this guy. He has a little bit of utility being a center back, right back, and a left back. But I think we might just have him as a center back. All right, guys. Now with all the signings, this is our current squad that we are looking at. I'm very excited for this. Um, my stamina is a little bit down because I played a few preseason games as well. Uh, so um, Werner is... Very fast, 92 pace, four-star weak foot. He's going to be a terror on goal. Uh, he has 81 shooting stats. I think I might work on him a little bit to get that up into the 85s and add some curve and some power to his shot. But, man, this guy is exciting. I'm really looking forward to look, using him. And we have Paulson, who is another four-star weak foot guy. But look at his height, six foot four, age 25. His heading is ridiculous. Uh, he plays for Netherlands, I believe. Right, we'll check that out later. And then Forsberg at the center attacking mid, he's one of our best passers. Him and Madison are going to be taking the front forward center attacking mid location on this 5-3-2, as they call it. We will be moving around the center mids 
as they are right now. We just got to find the right spots for everybody. It'll just take some tinkering with, and that's part of the fun of FIFA, I think. But Forsberg's really fun. He's injury prone, so I'm glad I had like six center mids that I'm really excited about, and I'll get to those guys later. But he has flair, and that is often very, very, very fun to use in FIFA. Outside foot shot, which I'm not too familiar with, but that might be something that we can work on. Another guy we're really excited about is Sabitzer. 81 overall. Outside foot again, injury prone. He's got great shots on him. Good ball control. Long shots of 82. That's going to be fun. So having him more of in the midfield right here is going to be good. Um, he can play center, attacking mid, and center mid. But we're probably going to be using him more in the center mid role. And then we can also cycle him up here for fatigue and everything. And the same thing with Madison, who we bought from Leicester. Leicester. City. I'm not very good with Premier League's teams, but he was really exciting. I traded a center mid who was an 83 overall for him, who was way older, nowhere near as good as potential. And this guy is really exciting. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves, flair, and he has pretty good dribbling, good crossing, good ball control, good free kick accuracy. So who knows? We might be able to score with this new mechanic that they've added. All right, going down to right mid, or right back. We're using him as a right wing back. We got Klosterman, who is pretty excited. He's got a lot of potential to himself, too. His age is only 23, 6'2". Pretty pacey guy, 85. So, I mean, he might even be able to be used in, at center back in a pinch, but I'm not really sure we're going to be wanting him for that. And then over to our left wing back, who we purchased, is Lodi. And he is 84 pace. Uh, it says position left back, but on Sofifa... It actually suggests him as a left wing back, so we have him in a perfect spot. He has four star skill moves, which I'm super excited about because then not only is he going to be able to defend for us, which he has 72 defending shown there, but he's going to be able to dribble forward and kind of create opportunities for us. His crossing might need to be worked on a little bit. 79, that's good enough, but ball control and everything like that is very exciting to have from a left wing back. And the captain here is Orban. He is 26, so we are kind of going to be looking to replace him with Upamakano, which you can see down there in the substitutes. But I am really excited about this guy, too. I mean, he's an 81 overall. He still has room to grow a little bit, but he has 83 defending. Not very fast, 52 pace, but he is a solid player, which is makes him really reliable in this game, from what I've noticed, and a power header. So we're going to be using him a lot on uh, set pieces in the corner and for free kicks. And then my most exciting center back I believe we have is Konate, a Frenchman. And he is only 20 years old, 6'4", pace of 78. Three-star skill moves, which I hadn't noticed until just now as a center back. That's pretty nice. Uh, but he is pretty good. I mean, he has good defensive awareness. He has a good side tackle, I think. Good side tackle, good standing tackle. And we'll be able to develop him a little bit more. And just, just a really exciting center back prospect. I think on so FIFA, they are projected to grow to 88, but with dynamic potential of FIFA 20 again, we're going to be looking at anywhere in between 84 to 90 maybe. Might be one of the best in the league. We'll see. And the Mukiel is another really exciting center back that we have. We're going to be putting three center backs in this formation. 21 years old, six foot two, And something to note here is he's 77 pace. So his secondary position is a right back, but... We have another backup right back that we are looking at, and we'll get into that soon. And of course, the keeper, Golashi. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Please let me know if that's incorrect. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wrong. 85 overall, 29 years old. Just amazing stats. He's going to be holding down the four for us because I'm not very familiar with the five in the back formation or FIFA 20 in that matter. So it's going to be good to have a guy that's going to be able to stop a lot of the errors I'm going to be making in the back line. Uh, another exciting prospect, which I actually used in my FIFA 19 career mode. I didn't stream or make any videos about it because I was just enjoying the game. I didn't really want to create any content on it until I thought I was a little bit better. But his name is Matias Cunha. He is a four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, 20 years old, six foot tall. He can play the striker and the center attacking mid. But we're pretty much just going to be using him as a striker. In FIFA 19, this is my ace. He was an absolute monster. I think he put up like 29 goals in one season on, in League 1. And we were fighting in Champions League, and he was just an absolute monster. The team I took was FC Mets, by the way, which is a League 2 team, which is now a League 1 team. Pretty exciting. I played with him for four seasons. I had a lot of fun. Another guy that I'm familiar with is Sandro Tonali. We bought him. He's only 19 years old. Four-star weak foot, three-star skills. Good pace, but I've heard comparisons of him to Andrea Pirlo, so 
We'll see how that goes. I'm going to develop him a little bit more before we start really using him, but this guy's a monster. Center, defensive mid, center mid. He's going to be a great passer for us. Just a great person to hold down the middle of the field. Uh, another center mid I'm really excited for, and it says is one of his secondary positions is CDM or RB, right back, is Lamer. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, 83 pace. In my preseason, I was actually pretty impressed with how he was able just to be able to dribble the ball. The dribbling doesn't show it as the best. 78, it's not amazing, but overall, very good player. 86 sprint speed, 84 stamina. So this is another guy that we're going to be looking to give a lot of playing time to and be a good sub for us. Another really exciting prospect, and I'm going to keep saying this. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but this is literally all this team is, is exciting prospects, which is just amazing to me because that means I'm going to have at least three or four seasons where I'm going to have a lot of fun, and just building players is just so much fun to me. But anyway, back to this guy. His name is Onkoku, and he is a beast. He's a lot faster than what it says, 77 pace. He's got a nice, uh, nice braided head, so it's really easy to find him on the field when you're looking for him. 80 dribbling. Uh, he says he's a technical dribbler, but whatever. Um, 82 dribbling here, 74 finishing. I actually have him, I had him as my free kick taker before we signed Madison, so it'll be interested to see how we can move forward with that. Um, another guy that we're really excited for is Lookman. Lookman, Lookman, I don't know how to pronounce it. He's only 21 years old, uh, height of five foot nine. One of our few guys that's primary a winger. He's the only winger on our team that is a primary. Um, right mid and left mid. So we're going to be looking to get him out on the wing a little bit, maybe use him as a right wing back. But 82 pace, 83 dribbling, good shooting skills, good passing. Pretty shit defending, so maybe I'll take that back. But put him over there, maybe where Madison or Sabitzer is up top there, and kind of drift him out when he's in. You can move your positions to right mids, left mids, and kind of keep him where he belongs. Another guy we are really excited for, but is not starting for us, is going to be Upa Meccano. And he is only not in the lineup because of Orban who is our captain, and who needs to play to be able to hold down that back five. He is 20 years old, three-star weak foot, but his defending and his physicalness is absolutely amazing. Um, his stamina is a little bit left to be desired at 61. I was using him a little bit in preseason. He's getting tired really quickly. But his strength is 88, and his jumping is 88. And he's only 20. Imagine that. I mean, if we can work on him a little bit, we can definitely get a power header out of him kind of replace Orban that was for our lineup, possibly. But I'm really excited for him. He has a medium attacking rate and a medium defensive rate, so we'll see how that works out in this lineup. But it's great to have three center backs like that. It's just amazing. An older guy that we're looking to use as a substitute is Halstenberg. Left back for us, and he has pretty good technical abilities, but because he's old and he's kind of near, old being 27, right? Because he's kind of near his uh, his maximum, we're looking to replace him, and that's why I brought in Lodi. And he just brings a lot more to the team than I think Halstenberg will. But he'll be good for us in a pinch, left back, left wing back, and possibly use as a left winger or left mid if we ever move to that. Here's Wolf, another really exciting prospect. He's only 20 years old, five foot ten, center attacking mid. So we got to find a position for him. But he has four star skill moves. 81 pace, and in the preseason, I was really impressed with how he was able to move with the ball and kind of find the open spots. And then Sirachi, another left back that has potential, but as of Lodi and Halstenberg, he's kind of going to be on the reserves list and come in when we need him. And then, um, this guy, again, a really exciting prospect is Hidera. Decent pace, decent passing, decent dribbling. Overall, just a guy that just has everything just kind of spread out pretty well. And I'll be looking to use him again in a uh, reserve role, but he is someone that we're going to be working with in development, I believe. And then an American like myself, really happy to use this guy. His name is Tyler Adams. Going to be used at center defensive mid when Tonali is not the center defensive mid, but also the backup right wing back. So we might find a spot for him to move into the sub list because I think he will be used more often than like a Lamer or Helstenberg would. But he is going to be really important to our team because um, a lot of people in real life are really excited about his potential. And looking on Sofifa and looking just at his stats, he just brings a lot to the team. And currently we don't have a backup right wing back dedicated, but he can fill that spot again. And then for some reason, FIFA 20 has this guy, Ethan Impadu, on this team permanently, even though he is on loan from Chelsea. 
He is one of the few center backs in FIFA 19 that I bought when I was developing on a very bad team. And we got him up to about 75, 76, and then he wanted to be traded because he wasn't being used enough. He had an attitude problem, so I got rid of him. But considering he's on this team with the three really good center backs and the five in the back formation that we're using, I think he's going to be very important to us. And then just kind of looking through the rest of this reserves, we have some other guys. Uh, Ilsenker, I think I put him on the transfer list. Another one that can be used as a center defensive mid, center backs, uh, right back. He's 30 years old. He's not going to uh, progress at all, but he is a good body to use in a pinch. So we might be able to keep him. And for our episodes, we will be looking just to have a few matches that have live commentary that I've streamed over on my Twitch channel, which I will plug at the end of this. And I will be doing some commentary episodes as well. So I will have some live footage with some highlights and everything like that. And I think that'll be a good combination to have. I'm going to be planning on releasing one a week. I am not going to be able to compete with major YouTubers or anything like that, but I have a day job and I have a few other hobbies and I have other things I want to do in my life. So I'm looking to be this as another hobby and to provide some good content and just have a good time with FIFA. This seems like a really fun game. So you can find me on Twitch. My Twitch is Flamingo underscore CK. You can find me here on YouTube as well. I have a twi uh, Twitter account that I use for personal use, and I also tweet when I'm about to go live. That is uh, Flamingo CK as well. And I have a Facebook page, which is Flamingo CK as well. And I post on all these pretty frequently, so if you want to get in contact with me, you can check those out or find any content that I'm putting on there. Feel free to. Um, I would appreciate any comments and any suggestions or comments that you have about the video so far and maybe the, the outlook of this team, maybe some suggestions or certain players you might want me to look at for you. And feel free to drop a like if you like this and subscribe because it really helps out my YouTube channel and getting more awareness and everything like that. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and I really hope you have a great day and I look forward to talking to you on the next episode.